Hello again, this is Joseph, Toyota Camry. Question, my horns do not work. Both horns do not work. Let's analyze and then troubleshoot. Another relay. First of all, well, we start over here. Through a 10 amp fuse coming out here. Now there's two paths for current to flow. One path here, one path here. We'll see which one we take first. If we go over here, the switch at rest is in this position. Therefore, this is open circuit. We cannot go here. Let's try the other path, the blue. Follow this one. Yes, it makes sense to go this way first because this is the coil that has to be energized, magnetized to pull in the contacts. So therefore, we take this path first to energize, and I put one over here. That means this is a sequence. This has to first happen, then number two will happen. The sequence will be this way. We go this way, light blue wire. Actually, pin number two, we come out. We go in number one, come out number pin number two of the horn relay. Go over here, follow the blue, D15. Go back out here, light green. Come out here now. This is the clock spring. Now, we go through here. When you hit the, the horn switch on the steering wheel, this is what's being operated. This horn switch right here and the clock spring. So this has to be closed to ground to make a complete path for this a relay this coil to be energized otherwise it's an open circuit so therefore this has to be closed to ground when we hit it we're closing the circuit to ground we're activating this part of the relay what will what will happen then as this is being activated this magnetic field this is being drawn the the switch to to other to this contact position between here and here between five and three that's now where this contact is switch so therefore follow this this now follow the orange that i drew in and you see this means it is magnetized and it is drawn in therefore we go out here pin three black wire come out here two two horns low pitch and high pitch in this sequence for a 2.5 liter Therefore, what will happen over here? The current will split. Some will go this way, some will go this way. So, therefore, we need one thing to happen. The switch has to be closed and the clock spring activated. So, therefore, once this happens, we have current flowing to this. We d now, we said we have both horns not working. What does that mean? First, let's go over here. Measure 12 volts. If we measure 12 volts over here, that means the fuse is intact. So therefore, let's come over here. Let's see how much we measure over here. So we go over here. If this is a complete path to ground, we should measure zero volts. If this is not complete, we'll measure 12 volts. If I measure 12 volts over here, that means I am not connected to ground. There is no current flow and usually the case is the clock spring might be the problem or the horn switch might be the problem because this is what we hit all the time on the steering wheel so after a while they tend they tend to go bad obviously so if we want to do the first thing we can always jump the relay like in most cases we can always go jump the relay from pin five to pin three because this is low current it's not high current anyway so and then see if the circuit comes on. That'll tell us right away the state of, 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 the, of, the, of the circuit. So if we jump this and everything comes on, obviously the relay is the fault. But like I said, most of the times this, if you have problems, or this in the steering wheel. That's what we hit most of the time, obviously. So if it's, if it's not the problem, then we always check the relay and we always check the fuse. So, simple circuit, not really that complicated for Toyota. Anyway, I'm glad you uh, viewed this. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.